Hello, and welcome to the December edition of Monthly Mailbag. Thanks for sending in your Christmas questions. They were absolutely fantastic. But we had one standout question this month that really baffled me. One viewer wanted to know, if snow was twice as thick and it snowed everywhere on Earth for eight years, what would it be like? It's a very specific question, and there's a lot to unpack. I mean, the obvious answer is that it would be very snowy. But let's dig in and see what we can find out. First off, what do you mean by twice as thick? Do you mean, what if the average annual snowfall worldwide was doubled? Well, th that turns out to actually be a really difficult question to answer. As far as I can tell, there's no central data repository for global snow depth. NASA has a satellite called Terra, which takes amazing pictures like these. And it images every point on Earth every day or two. And on the satellite, there's an instrument called MODIS, or the Moderate Resolution Imaging Spectro Spectroradiometer. It works by keeping track of exactly how much light comes in in specific wavelengths depending on whether you're more interested in phytoplankton in the ocean, or wildfires, or cloud cover, or sea ice extent, you can choose a different color of light to focus on. When climate scientists keep the color range broad, they can track snow cover using a very simple measure called albedo, which is just how much light is reflected from the ground. The more snow on the ground, the lighter it is, and the more light is reflected back into the instrument. Looking at MODIS data is really interesting. We'll put a link below where you can explore various cold snaps and storms that have hit all different parts of the Earth. This kind of information has been invaluable in tracking sea ice extent, winter storms, and long-term climate trends. But it only has information about snow and ice extent, not depth. So you could look at maybe ski resorts who do keep very good track of snow depth. For example, I know that there's been just over four meters of snow so far this winter on Whistler, a big mountain in British Columbia. Um, but other authorities just don't keep that kind of information. Snow is so infrequent in the UK that the Met Office measures it not in depth, because that would be so variable depending on location, but instead in days. From 1981 to 2010, for example, there were only 15.6 days per year on average across this country when snow settled on the ground. And this includes the Scottish Highlands, which significantly bring up the average. Since the original question asks, what if it snowed everywhere? Maybe I can find some global rainfall data or precipitation data, and if I just turn all that into snow, then at least we'd have a number to start. And depending on you, who you ask, you get very different numbers. Uh, actually, one source even says, quote, the most common mistake dealing with all precipitation data arises from its highly variable nature both in space and time. So take what comes next with a big pinch of salt. But a few sources agree that the annual precipitation on Earth is in the ballpark of 5 times 10 to the 14 meters cubed, or 500 trillion cubic meters, which is 5 times 10 to the 17, or 50 quadrillion liters because you can fit 1,000 liters into one meter cubed. And that weighs 5 times 10 to the 17 kilograms, or 50 quadrillion kilograms, because one liter of water is exactly one kilogram. But since snow is so much less dense than liquid water, that converts back into, in round figures here, assuming a density on average of about 200 kilograms per meter cubed, 2.5 times 10 to the 15 meters cubed of snow per year. If you divide that back into the area of the Earth, including the oceans, because the original precipitation data also did, you get a depth of about 5 meters of snow over the course of a year. And if you double it, that's 10 meters. And if you consider that the snowiest places on Earth, Aomori City and Sapporo, both in Japan, only receive 7 and 5 meters of snow annually, you're starting to get the picture that this is a snowy, snowy scenario. This might not be so bad as a one-off thing, but after eight years, every part of the Earth would have an average accumulation of 80 meters of snow. To be fair, that snow wouldn't stay light and fluffy the whole time and would get compacted down to something on the order of 50 meters or so, which is enough to bury everything shorter than 15 floors. And those eight years are only just the start because everything is now covered in reflective snow and ice. The albedo of the planet will go up, which reflects more light back into space, keeping the temperature cold. Plants will pretty much all will get buried and die off from the cold, which will collapse the food chain. But this is a holiday monthly mailbag, so let's finish off with some fun winter facts. Did you know, for example, that snowflakes always have six-fold symmetry because of the way water molecules crystallize around grains of dust into hexagons? Did you know that reindeer and caribou are two names for the same species, Rangifer tyrandus, and that their knees click, which tells their potential mates and friends how big and impressive they are? And did you know that you can actually hear the aurora borealis? Finnish researchers discovered that on a cold, clear night, a warm layer of air gets trapped at around 70 meters up, which allows a small charge to build up that gets released by magnetic storms and results in a sort of nice crackling sound. Thanks for watching. Keep sending in your questions either by commenting below or by tweeting at us at ri underscore science, and have a really happy holiday.